Hi folks. This second segment will be on mental stress. And what exactly is mental stress? How does it show up in our minds? What is some of the neuroscience behind it? Scientists have been studying meditation and the brain for some, some time now. So let's see, well, what do they say about it? And what are the tools to be able to manage mental stress? So that is the framework really for this session. And so to begin, what is mental stress? And it shows up for all of us, no matter how young or old you are. And it really is this repetitive negative thinking where the, our minds can get focused on maybe one thing and it can be very negative. But Scientists say that actually a lot of our thoughts, which by the way, we have like 50 to 70 thoughts a day, and most of them are negative, repetitive, and useless, according to scientists, <laughs> which doesn't mean there's nothing wrong with thinking, but this is sort of just the way it happens for us. And so what are some ways that we can experience mental stress? One example might be you know that a presentation is coming up for your English class next week and your mind is thinking of all the ways that something can go wrong. I think for a lot of us, speaking publicly can be very nerve-wracking. So that's my, that might be a spot where you notice that uh, repetitive thought. Or it could be, you know, social media has such an influence on all of us, where it's you're scrolling through Instagram and you see someone who has something or is doing something and it's like you just notice, oh my gosh, why can't I have this or do this? And, and you're, you know, this, you're being this sort of um, negative thought towards yourself. And so these are things that can show up for all of us. And some examples of mental stress. How do we break this loop in the mind when, you, when we notice a repetitive negative thought? And one way is to focus on the breath. This is one of many ways uh, to break any sort of mental stress. And this technique I'd like to offer is called the STOP method, and it's where S stands for literally pause or stop. So we have this mind-body connection where if you notice your mind is really busy, if you pause physically, it can support the mind to also calm. So first stop and then T in this acronym S-T-O-P. T stands for take deep breaths. So pause, breathe into your belly. Let's do this now together. Just take a nice slow breath into your belly. And then breathe out of your mouth, pucker your lips. And let your breath empty. Do that again. Breathe in big. Feel your belly expand and then your chest. Pucker your lips, slowly breathe out. Feel your breath one more time. Take a smooth breath in. And open your mouth, let it go. Let your shoulders relax. Come back to your natural breathing. O stands for observe. So observe and notice how you feel. Notice any thoughts that may arise. And the most important part is to welcome them. Allow them to be there. And P stands for proceed. 
So continue on with what you're doing. And this could be one minute of a stop break where you pause, take a few breaths, observe, and then proceed. But just right now from moving through those steps, notice how you feel. Is your mind a little more calm, focused? Or maybe you feel the same and that's okay too because this takes practice and that's why we call it meditation practice or mindfulness practice. So it takes time. This week, journal and consider where is a time that I can use this stop method? Is it in between classes? Or in your car when you're warming it up to head to school or to work? And then also consider what's one thing this week I can do for mental rest? If you feel like maybe it's technology and the phone really contributes to mental negativity or stress, maybe you know, it's putting your phone aside a half hour before bed. But consider one thing you can do to support that. And thank you all so much. I hope this was helpful. Take care.